Hey guys, so I wanted to hop on here and this is going to be like a first impressions Friday. I'm going to be using the new Prime and Set powder that I had showed previously when I got it in stock in the other video. <clears throat> so I'm just getting around to using it. And I'm so excited to use it. Um, so I'm not going to be using my regular primer today. So, it does have instructions. This is like water encapsulated powder, so you see how it's not all the way full. That's because you have to shake to activate, and it's not going to swell up or anything. It does a little bit, but you see like how fine that gets as you shake it. it swells up because it's water encapsulated, and it does that. Alright, so it says prior to removing lid, tilt and gently shake to disperse. When you swirl brush the desired amount, apply over the face. Okay, so <clears throat> let's do this. I'm going to use my powder puff brush and I'll show you what it looks like inside. It's probably got one of those little stickers on. Good thing I have nails. I'm going to pull the tape off here. Alright. That's what it is. So, it says tilt it a little bit and let some fall out. Um, I'm probably just going to like do this little number. And put it on. Actually, I might shake some onto my... Ooh. Ooh, I felt that. That's crazy. It actually legit feels wet. That's wild. It's like a powder, but it feels wet. Crazy. Of course, my brush hairs are falling out. <clears throat> I want to make sure I get coated good. I, it's it's kind of hard to tell with this, you know. Cause it's so it's like a powder but then it feels wet when you put it on get my eyes and if you're not priming your eyes you should be <clears throat> Cause it helps with your eye shadow. Okay. I don't think my brush knows how to react to it. Clearly. Because I had just washed this brush so it's shedding. And this is kind of like putting a wet powder on, honestly. So it's sticking, the hairs are not cooperating. Had a few strays fall out there. Um, it feels really soft. very bizarre to prime the powder but she's primed up so first impressions so far I don't know like um it's a very weird feeling it's very cool to the um 
face it literally feels like you're putting a wet primer on but it's powder um i guess that's because of the you know the how it's made the formula i feel like i needed a different brush um than the one i had i feel like i need a longer tapered one which i'm actually in the market for anyway so i need to get one because this is really the only powder brush I have to apply various types of powder aside from my blush. So I feel like a taper, a long tapered one would have worked better. Um, but overall, I mean, I can definitely feel the tackiness on my face. And I can tell that it's been primed. Like, it's like tacky. You know how when you prime your face and it's a little tacky? I can tell that so um, we're gonna see here I'm gonna go ahead and apply my makeup to this um, but so far I mean it's not bad it's pretty cool it's a really cool feeling um, this would be great for somebody who um, really needs like a long-lasting um, makeup look like if you work somewhere that it's hot and you sweat this stuff is supposed to lock on for like 16 hours plus I posted some videos where people put stuff um, like lipstick down um, we can try that actually um, ooh. so like I can like prime my hand here ooh got way too much on prime it good and then put I'll use one of these lipsticks here's a purple um, put lipstick over top of it and then lipstick over here on this side well you look at the difference for one look at the difference in the prime side which is here how smooth it was and how it just like soaks in to all my wrinkles and lines on my hand on that side and then take it since I primed it and then we're going to set it Let's set this is the one that's primed and set. This is the one that's not. Look how much better that is. That is so crazy. So this one, when I rub my finger across it, is going to smear. Okay. As you can see, this one does not. So you can see it is set on there. It's not a hoax it's legit and then this one's smearing I'm doing the same movement it smears this one is not not going anywhere so wow that's crazy you need something that's going to lock your makeup in this right here is going to be a, the prime and set. I'll check back in after I prime my makeup. Um, after I do my makeup, I'll prime it with it. But as of right now, I am totally impressed. Like this right here, like it's one thing to see in the videos of other presenters doing it, but actually doing it yourself, like that's crazy. Like that's so crazy. I'm just going to leave that on there and see how long it stays. But anyways, I'll check again. Alright, so I got my two concealers on. Covered up some blemishes. And then a highlight underneath my eyes. And then I did a BB cream. Because um, I don't want a really heavy look today. Um, I am going out. I'm going to the store. But like nothing major. Um... So, I just wanted a light look. Nine times out of ten, um, I do a light look. Um, unless I'm going out, like, 
I don't know, somewhere fancy or like a party or get together. But I haven't been doing that for like a year. So, we're going to go back in with the prime and set again. We're going to shake her up, activate this water encapsulation. And I got my coverage on. I did this before. And then I just did my concealer. And um, ooh, a lot came up that time. Wow. Ooh, let me knock some down. Um, I did my BB cream and my concealer off of the video. Because, you know. So I want to get some of my brush. And I'm going to set to my face. I really wish you guys could feel this. Like, it's so crazy. It's, it's so refreshing and wet and just... It's wild. I do need a new brush though. Um, for this. It needs to be a tapered long handle one. So. I might, um, pick one of those up when I go to the store actually. Because there was one that I seen on Amazon by Real, Te Real Techniques. I do like Real Technique pr um, brushes. A lot of the brushes I have are unique brushes. Brushes, bleh, can't talk today. I got the set. Um, I purchased the whole set. And I think I got the free brush roll with it when I sold before. Um, I've started slowly replacing them though because they're older and they need replaced. Like this one, I love this one, but it needs replaced. Like honestly. And I'm not like a, a brush snob or anything. I mean, I like a good brush, but I don't have to use all unique brushes. So, um, there's other things on my wish list that I want to get first. Um, like, this is a Do Care brush I ordered off of, um, Amazon in a set a while back. And I'm going to use it to set my under eyes just to get a little more detailed. Well, I'm going to set my, over my eyes. This stuff feels so amazing and a little bit goes a long way. I mean, just, it's just so refreshing. It feels so weird, but then it feels so cool. Like, it's just, it's hard to explain. All right. I'm primed and set now fully with both. Still got my little swatch there. Still not rubbing off. So how would I rate this? Um, me personally, I would rate it I feel like a 9 out of 10 because I don't need um, a look that stays on for it like that. Like, I don't really, actually I might start like doing better with summertime coming so I might change my tune about that, you know, with sweating and stuff. But it's flawless, like it looks the same if not better honestly than when I use the Touch Glorious Primer. So I'm impressed, honestly. I did not know that um, a powder, you could, you know, do use a powder primer and setter until this came out like a combo. It's crazy, I have all these little brush hairs on me because it's being contrary, but yeah. So, I would definitely recommend this. 
um, uh, a 9 out of 10, even a 10 out of 10, honestly, like, A lot of people is probably not going to like the fact that it comes half full and you have, you know, even after you shake it. But it's very finely milled and you don't need a lot. And a longer tapered brush like this for your under eye area plus the longer taper fluffier ones would be best to use with this to go on your face. So keep that in mind. I'll definitely be using it again. Um, I would definitely recommend it to especially people who, um, has oily skin, sweats a lot, works in a hot environment, uh, for work. I would definitely, you know, who has problems with their makeup staying on, this would be a game changer for sure. So, that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you are interested in trying this bad boy out, let me know. Um we can uh, get you set up with it right now we have the flawless four still going on so this is a product you can get in that um, I still have two spots left to get as of now I still have two spots left um, to get the $99 deal for $75 um, for my birthday special that I'm running so um, you can save even more so you're getting four products for $75 you're getting your primer, you're getting your concealer, foundation, and your setter. This, even though it's a primer and setter, it's under the setting category. So you would still get um, a regular primer as well, which is awesome because then you have two options. Plus your concealer and your foundation, like you'd be set. Like it's an amazing deal for $75. Uh, one of them was already claimed. I have two left to go because I'm offering three. So, if you're interested in that, um, this video will be one up on Friday. If something changes and they're claimed before then, um, I will let you know down below. But otherwise, I'm glad you, um, if you watch this, thank you for supporting me and checking it out. Give me a thumbs up or send me an emoji, send me some love on my YouTube channel or um, on the Facebook post. And I appreciate you guys. And I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.